Elon Musk's been making headlines, but related to AI, not so much the cars, where a lot of the attention has been focused on a vote for the CEO's pay package. Joining us, Mr. Ross Gerber for a check-in, president and CEO at Gerber Kawasaki Wealth and Investment Management on Tesla and more. Uh, hey, uh, Ross, let's talk Tesla firstly, as it seems like you've become increasingly frustrated. You went over the past year from not buying Tesla to now selling some of the shares. Last time you told us, you guys were winding that down. Uh, where are you at? Well, we're still winding. You know, we we've got so much, so many shares over all these years that, you know, it's taken all kind of a bit of time to to unload it. But but that said, you know, we've done a bunch of selling of Tesla. We're holding a, still a, a pretty decent sized position, um, you know, and we're whittling it down still as we see really a lack of focus and direction for Tesla. And and with this shareholder vote on June thirteenth, you know not looking too good for Elon, you know, what's next for Tesla is very hard to to tell. And also with the change in their business plan, it's much harder to value into the future. What do you think the impact of the vote on his pay package is? Does that have a meaningful impact on the company, on the shares? Yeah, it does in both outcomes. So if, if he wins the pay package, it means he's going to have to sell like $25 billion worth of Tesla stock to pay taxes. And that tax bill is going to be borne by the shareholders, the current shareholders. So that's very dilutive and expensive to think that Tesla is somehow going to raise 20 something billion very easily. You know, that that will not be fun. And then if he loses, then it becomes, well, what is Elon going to do? Obviously, the bulk of his net worth is is really in Tesla and it's the only profitable business he actually runs. So without Tesla's valuation, like if Tesla goes down substantially, you know, it could put Elon's entire empire at risk. So, so we, it, it's really an interesting and delicate balance that that Elon's dancing right now, and and it kind of a lose lose for Tesla at the moment. Mm. Uh, shares have been kind of hanging in there though, uh, roughly around this 170. What do you think generally about the way they've handled the price cuts and Chinese competition? Kind of the main, more cyclical themes for the autos right now. Also, the kind of launch post Cybertruck. What's your view on the core business here over the last quarter? So this is where it gets tricky because, you know, essentially Elon's trying to change the story of Tesla from being an EV maker with autonomous driving to being an autonomous driving company with robotics. And in doing that, he sold a lot of investors on this, you know, sort of future that he sees that has kept the valuation extremely high with an even higher forward PE than NVIDIA. But at the same respect, he's let the EV business completely languish and has done nothing to help sell electric vehicles. In fact, doing a lot of things that hurt the sales of Tesla on an almost daily basis. So, you know, essentially Tesla's struggling now to sell cars, yet they have the best cars in the world. So, you know, it's this weird dichotomy of like, what is Tesla? So people are still buying the hype and they're buying into the AI and the full self-driving story. But I think what they're missing is how is Tesla going to make money over the next couple of years if they're not focused on selling EVs? And so, you know, I, I you know, once again, I, it's a lost ship now in a lose-lose situation. It's not the kind of stock I'm betting a lot of money on. That's that's for sure. What do you think the August unveil of robo taxis is going to look like? Uh, do you think that's going to live up to expectations? What are those expectations? You know, I hate to say it, but it's a non-event. You know, these launches really? to have no time frame of when anything's ever going to be completed or actually done. So, like to me, this was a sort of a half-hearted attempt to keep the story around AI. It's a marketing event for Tesla. It, it doesn't mean a car is coming anytime soon or in any way that we can model out what revenue or what this vehicle will actually do for the Tesla story. It's I think it'll be nice to see whatever they do. I, I love their vehicles, but it doesn't help them sell cars. And right now it's Q2 and you know, like people are struggling even to buy. Like we have clients that have just recently bought Teslas with the 0% financing and then they go down to the service center and the car's not even there. It's such a mess there. So they have operational problems. This idea that he's laying off people and there's no effect on the overall business is 100% false. I've never seen in Tesla in such disarray. So, you know, if you buy into Elon, buy the stock, you know, but if you have if some doubts about this, there's a lot of doubts that I have about where Tesla's going now, and I used to see this very crystal clear.
when you talk about how he's trying to refocus with AI and that that's kind of where he's dedicating his energy, I mean, he's also got the XAI project as well, though. Right. So, I mean, is there some synergy there if he feels that that's truly revolutionary? I mean, you were with him at the beginning on the revolution of EVs. Why not trust his vision for the AI stuff that he's going to be able to link all these things together? You know, it's interesting because I certainly don't, bet against people and would never bet against Elon. But I think from the perspective of like why all of a sudden is AI so important, it's because Sam Altman and, and OpenAI became the story and he wants to be involved with whatever's hot. And this is an area that he's been involved with his whole career. So I, I get what he's doing, but this should have all been done under Tesla. And the idea that he has to own 25% of Tesla before he'll actually work for Tesla is really upsetting to me as a Tesla shareholder. So XAI is really a punch in the face to Tesla AI in a lot of ways. And it shows really where its focus is, which is developing AI uh, programs and products versus, you know, really focusing on growing Tesla as a business. And that's, I think, the problem in its, in its core. So I, I wish Elon luck with whatever he's doing. Certainly, you know, I, I'm glad he's doing that. But as a Tesla shareholder, it sucks and there's no spin on it. It's just... It just shouldn't be allowed to happen if the board was really a board. But we know the Tesla board is laughable. All right. Well, we'll we will uh, follow up uh, post vote and with the robo taxis. Thanks for the thoughts, Ross. Appreciate the update. Yeah, thank you. You got it. Ross Gerber, President CEO, Gerber Kawasaki, Wealth and Investment Management.